Uh, and of course, uh, the electoral uh, uh, amendment bill is uh, where we start today, where the National Assembly rescinded the earlier decision to make direct primaries the only method of electing candidates by political parties. Uh, this change comes a few days after President Muhammad Buhari uh, said he was ready to sign the Electoral Act Amendment Bill after the National Assembly makes the necessary adjustment, in quote. The direct primaries, as a close 84 had earlier hindered the assent of the bill. However, the President in an interview said uh, he was willing to sign if only the legislators will effect changes that must include the addition of consensus candidates and indirect primary options to the math mode of selecting a candidate for an election. And of course, the National Assembly did. And uh, uh, what's left is for them to take it for the, to the president. And the president uh, will hopefully, finally, uh, uh, append his signature to the bill. So uh, let's start from you, uh, Barrister Takan. What do you think of this? I mean, well, when, 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 when the National Assembly, we, we've always uh, called the National Assembly a rubber stamp, exactly. doing what the president wants. Exactly. And for, for, for a while, there looks like the National, Plans, uh, National Assembly, rather, were having a mind of their own, uh, bringing out some bills that Nigerians had applauded, you know, uh, uh, and uh, this was one of them. And it was like, okay, even though democratically in the norm the red primary shouldn't be imposed on these uh, uh, political parties but because of the situation we are in makes direct primaries the best option at least for now and nigerians you know majority of nigerians actually applauded the national assembly of course uh, uh for, except for the people that are, are meant to lose like the governors you know and all that and um, the National Assembly did what the National Assembly have been known for, going back to what the president wants. So, is this good or bad? Uh, it, it's a bold face, and um, it's shameful. It's very, very unfortunate. It's, it's, it's very, very saddening to reckon that the National Assembly had to do a U turn on that laudable position they had taken mm -hmm. by the passage of. Uh, the um, Electoral Act Amendment Bill stating that um, the parties, all parties had to adopt the direct um, primaries. Uh, most primaries. You know, we, we, we have all applauded that. We were here on this forum and in other fora, you know, um, applauding that and give reasons why. Because uh, uh, for what has happened now, it, it, it is, it's a clear statement of the fact that we're not ready to do things differently as a nation, as a people. And of course we know that even individually, it is a fool that would keep doing the same thing over and over and expect different results. Mm. The country is in a dire strait in all all fours. Our governance is by its total absence of governance. Nigeria is a failed state. And we have said in this forum and in other fora that you know, the presidency, the executive arm of government has enveloped, you know, the other arms of government. You know, they become, they, they exec, the um, legislature and the judiciary have become appendages, you know. They have been made to cow, you know, it's not as if it was um, like voluntary as it were, mm -hmm. you know, because of the fact that uh, we have a tyrant for a president, you know. So what, we, what we've seen is a situation where one man is detecting everything, you know, uh, for, for the other arms. The, the judges have been bullied. We've seen that starting from the removal of um, the, the, the CJN. Mm. And even before then, the arrest of uh, two other previous judges of the Federal High Court, you know, even though uh, the C failed at their prosecution, they booted out, you know, the CJN. And then, of course, they put a, a stooge, that's my opinion, for, for, you know, who would carry out their bidding. And, uh, and several other actions against the judiciary made to make judges cow, you know, to um, the buildings of, of, mm. of the executive. Now, and then the same thing, except for the ninth, the eighth assembly, which you know stood up, you know, I, I keep saying the eighth assembly stood up for Nigeria, stood up for the people. And that was why a lot of things that we see today uh, didn't happen then. But sadly, like you said. Uh, the present Senate uh, President, Lawan, had said that they were there to do the bidding of, the pre of Mr. President. 
And, and so, when for once they, 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 they detracted from me in passing that bill, which we all applauded and said it's a way to salvage our electoral system. And serving an electoral system is a way to getting or availing ourselves good governance. Because the leaders, those who become leaders, president and others, emerge from the electoral process. So if you heard starting from the primaries, which actually is the very foundation of it all, you know how? Because it is from the parties that candidates emerge. Huh. So if we continue with what they want in having to insist, as they have done successfully, that the parties can adopt consensus, we we know what that means in Nigeria, you know, uh, an, an indirect, you know, method of, you know, God for that reason, dictatorship, you know, in who becomes a candidate, you know, some of us who are spoken as we are would always naturally have issues with, you know, because uh, godfathers, political godfathers, are not comfortable with people who are independent-minded, people who appear not to be such that they can um, control, you know, and, and detect what they should do or say at whatever level. You know, so the National Assembly making this world face a U-turn to do, concede, to do exactly what uh, the president, the president wanted, uh, it's, it's very, very unfortunate. It shows how that institutions need to start working in Nigeria. Okay. We do not have democratic institutions of work. The entire setup, you know, is, is around the person and office of the president. Mm. So he could come up, instead of vetoing him and we had advice, what did they do? They came up and said, they have adopted I mean, we, we, exactly we, we what had We had stories of veto, but, you know, so Nigerians were optimistic. So uh, what about you? I mean, some persons have come out to say that irrespective of the situation, uh, 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 Political parties should be allowed to make their choice. There should not be the direct well, primary should not those, be imposed. Those, those who are of the same school as the president mm -hmm. and the governors who insisted that they had to take out, you know. But you can see that what they did is in leaving. Okay, if sorry, if, if I'm not taking the whole time now, if the indirect, the direct primaries, as the president said, all right, was undemocratic, why would it still be there at all? You know, so it means you're still giving parties the opportunity to adopt an undemocratic process. The one he says would cost us a lot more money. The one he says has a lot of security implications and all of that. If the true intention, the real intention, was not about their personal interest against, as against the national interest, mm. then we shouldn't have seen direct primaries anymore in that re-amended but, but either, re -amended either, either either way they've had the right of i mean some persons have come out even in this platform to say to say that look uh, uh direct primaries to in, in, uh, 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 to uh, uh what is the word now to invoke direct primaries on all political parties is not fair especially on the smaller parties are you in that point mm, of view yes thank you very much um, Solomon. as far as um, the issue of direct primary and indirect primaries are concerned, vis-a-vis -vis the electoral amendment bill is concerned, we are going to be looking at it from um, two different perspectives, okay. the pros and the cons. Okay. We can say, okay, we, of course, for the first time, the president is uh, refusing his assent. I think that was that. No, it's not the first time. It's not the first no, time. For the first time. Okay, fourth. Okay. Okay. For the first time. Okay. Because the first one, he said, um, is going to take the power away from the from. Uh, I neck the second time he gave he came up with the issue of the drafting issues and the third one he came up with the issue of uh, the, the is, is is too close to the elections mm -hmm. i didn't and the fourth one was this issue of um, the clause clause 34 of the electoral amendment mm -hmm. precisely where he's saying that the uh, direct primary is going to um, um it gave a whole lot of reasons we're, security, we're going to be taking a look so at those reasons security implications mm -hmm. but uh, by and large um i'm going to just like i said earlier that uh, let's look at it from these two perspectives. Okay. Is, is direct primary, or, uh, is, he, is there anything attached to it that is hard and fast? Mm. At least, does it, does it mean that direct primary does not have its all, all that negative, you know, implication as well? Because we saw it in Lagos State as well. Mm. On the 2019 elections, we saw it, yeah, it was the same direct primary that APC adopted. Mm. And Ambody government and its people, they complained. Of course, we saw the election, how it was conducted. Although the argument is that 
that can already give out to the people. But in the context of Nigeria, mm. Godfatherism, um, what sort of... Um, Still has a huge say, yeah. even in direct primaries. Yes, I'm talking about direct primary now. Okay. Uh, okay, okay. We have some people who are habitating for direct primary. Okay. I just as well want to point their attention to it as well. That direct primary on his own too. As his own business, you know. Of course, we saw it even in Edo State. That was the plan before. We want to allow um, um, his, um, the former governor, Sheikh Malay, at the end of the day, as his way against the sitting governor. Mm. Of course, the argument against in direct primary also are all there. Because we, we also saw it in my state. Of recent, the case is still within PDP now. So all of them, direct, indirect primaries, all of them, they have their advantages at the same time, both by and large. Let me not let, let Nigerians not assume because the way that the Nigerian president is going about it, mm. according to the argument of uh, Governor Wiki and Wiki and Bagaladima, uh, when they were saying that, the reason why the, the Mr. President and APC, why they are against direct primary, is because they know that they cannot win a free and fair election, as in, I'm talking about oh, mm. their own personal That is their own argument. Their, their own argument. Okay. So, by and large, that primary, well, it has its own going forward. Mm. At the same time, it has its own drawbacks. So, so but if, if, you, if you were to make a pro and cons okay. of direct primaries as against indirect or consensus, what would you personally have leaned on to? Yeah, but I would say give it to direct primaries. Okay. The, the reason that the indirect primaries form of electing of uh, selecting candidates for general elections. We have seen it in the past as far as this country is concerned, whereby um, the godfathers, all you, all you just need to do is target the delegates, make it a money back. We saw it in 2019 elections, mm -hmm. whereby a particular candidate of PDP, uh, according to what we have, whether, you know, whether based on rumor or true, you know, money flew around, $10,000, you know, I mean, no, money is always flew around, around as far as Nigeria election so, is concerned, so it's, so it's, it's you know, and, a new and, thing. And I pointed the attention to something that happened in my state of recent, mm. in the indirect elections. Oh, out of about 177 local government in the Kitty State, mm. we saw that the election did not take place in some places. Mm. People were complaining, what happened? Mm. The former governor of that state targeted the delegates. Mm. That, okay, delegate to all of them, um, in as much election did not take place in that place. All we just have to do is that delegate is to be bought. Now, now. Yes. Did yes, the. Did I hear some local government in the kitty? Come again. Did I hear some local government in the kitty? No words. I mean words. Right. You make words. Yes, yes, I mean words. Yes. Now, uh, 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 here's the caveat now. Mm. Quite a number of persons have come out to say in a normal situation. Yes. Yeah. Direct, indirect, or consensus parties shouldn't have been a problem. Uh, political parties should yes, be allowed. Yes, of course. Uh, you know, uh, so, yes. But these direct primaries is coming as because of the, I don't want to use the word abnormal so crime. Because, yeah, be, be, because, of, because of the situation we found ourselves as a, as a let country. Me, let me now, how, how, how does that translate, really? You know, let me come in there. Um, you know, uh, uh, when the issue, when the president uh, refused to assent to the bill last year, I think December, you know, the issue was around uh, direct, why would the National Assembly remove the indirect primary? Because under the extant electoral act, mm. it provides for both direct and indirect. indirect. So yeah. the political parties are at, at liberty to decide which one to choose. Mm. Now, the National Assembly, in their wisdom, decided to remove the indirect Primary. What is indirect primary? That is delegates election or voting. Mm. But direct election, direct primary requires every member, every of, the member of the party to, to be involved. Now you look at it like she said, the cons and the pros. Whichever one the political party adopts mm. is still susceptible to abuse mm. um, and manipulation. We have seen it play out. Yes. Mm. Just recently, an Anambra State election, this man that came from APC, Andrew Ba had over 300,000 votes in the direct primary election. Mm -hmm. And during the real election, he got less than 50,000. I'm sorry, so, how many elections did they conduct? Direct primaries and re-election? No, they did direct primary. Okay. APC in Anambra State. They okay. did direct primary. Okay, in the region, general exactly. election in so the state. Go, exactly. Okay. So okay. the point I'm making is this. The issue shouldn't be about direct or indirect primary election. Mm -hmm. Political parties should be at liberty to decide 
how to go about nominating their candidates. Mm. That is key. Mm. And the president cannot, because of this direct or indirect, uh, refuse his assent. Why overlooking other beautiful provisions? Okay. Because there have been clamor over the years for the Electoral Act to be amended to reflect the changing realities and to ensure to strengthen our electoral institutions. Mm. That is the key. And we are beginning to, and the argument is now about how political parties conduct their primary or how they don't. We don't have independent candidates in Nigeria. Whichever way you choose to look at it, political parties must be the one to present candidates. Mm. That is key. So we shouldn't lose the, 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 you know, throw away the baby with the bathwater. Mm -hmm. We have to put into consideration that if we are to conduct a direct primary election, INEC is statutory bound to observe the conduct those of elections. those direct elections. Mm -hmm. And do you also consider the financial implications in a nation like Nigeria? Mm -hmm. So if all the political parties decide to conduct primary election, direct election in one day, how do you think uh, INEC will be able to do this while also conducting the, the main election at the end of the day? So these are issues. Mm -hmm. So it is neither here nor there. Yeah. Uh, for me, so, think, so, so, on your own, for your own view, your whichever, whichever director or indirect shouldn't, shouldn't the discretion make any difference. Mm. The, the, the political party should be allowed to decide because, mm. however, if it's indirect or direct, mm. it's subject to manipulation. Yeah. I've cited an instance. Mm. So, if they are saying that direct uh, primaries would allow people to decide who to lead, that is within the point of view of the political party. Mm. But you also have to understand that delegate is also a representative way of voting, mm. where the, you have to a delegate from a particular uh, place who have to vote for the interests of its own people. Mm. So for me, it's for us to get it right and produce a credible candidate. Now, all this goes to the credibility of candidates. Now, the, the, the issue, like uh, as we said, it's because of the situation. Now, we're in a country where uh, um, we may have plenty of political parties, but we'll just have the big two, or what I say as it is right now, one and a half, <laughs> you know, where uh, 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 whoever candidate, whichever candidate come out of either APC or PDP will most likely be the president, where uh, uh, unfortunately or fortunately, uh, the, the political parties don't have the same platform. Uh, so I, I think this is why uh, to how these parties come out with their candidate becomes such a big deal. I don't know if you agree with that. Yes, that's 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 the point because we we are not. We yeah, which is which is which is why which is why the national assembly are you know hinged towards compulsory direct primaries. It does not rule out all those direct. external factors. It does not whether direct or indirect. It does not. Hmm. Voters can still be bought. They can still be induced. So however you choose to look at it, politics is a game of... But, 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 according, but, according, but according to a lot of political analysts, uh, uh, both voters will be difficult to buy in direct primaries compared to uh, indirect primaries because the number of persons that will see the money bag will be fewer. But direct primaries, everybody involved, how many persons can you buy? That, I, 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 are we in this... Yeah, well, yeah, we have to stem arguments for... We all lawyers, yeah. You know, of course, you we're talking about an amendment. Usually, an amendment comes in where there's some mischief that is to be corrected, redressed. Mm -hmm. Right now, like I've said, we've, the essence of the amendment is to give us, to give uh, some leverage to integrity to, to electoral process. And if there is a clamor, and majority of people are saying we want, it should, it should have been by direct primaries. It is after comparing the pros and cons between direct primaries, indirect primaries, and consensus. Mm. When, when I'm saying is direct primaries should have stayed, and a lot, a lot more people are also saying that, it's not because we didn't consider you know, the, the, the pros and cons of the other ones, but we're saying that having considered all of them, direct primaries would treat the mischief, the, the mischief in Nigeria, which is responsible for bad governance. Bad governance because we have wrong people in governance. We have people who are who do not evolve. They are not product of a truly democratic process that represents the will of the people. Mm -hmm. The will of the people here begins from the will of the party members. All right, because, because the I party said, members are such a huge. As a matter of fact, I mean, yeah, you know, we want to take power away from the political godfathers. 
And of course, this would, you would stretch this to mean even the party executives. And of course, the lives in each state of those who are godfathers. Mm, the strongholds of each state. So having considered that, let's take it away first and hand over power mm. to the direct card carrying members of the party. Mm. Even if there are issues, we would have moved to the right, first of all, away from the mischief. Mm. And then if we let this other option which having weighed, you know, would not treat the mischief as the direct primaries, we'll now begin having come to direct primaries to begin to treat the issue of direct primaries. It, that is progress. Gradually, we'll move to direct primaries and they show that card carrying members I want to say, in, if there are 20 aspirants for a political um, office, let's say governorship, for instance, or maybe 20 is too much, let's say five, all right? Now, it is no more in the hands of the political godfather or the party executive. It, it means that all five of them will be have to bring in money, if it's money that we have to deal with, to try to buy these car carrying members, all five of them. Mm -hmm. First of all, the power is now in the hands of card carrying members. No more in the hands of political godfathers like we have. We have given instances here and in other fora where we've seen in Lagos, in other states, somebody is taken from Shomolu and imposed on the Kurudu, taken from the Kurudu and imposed at Badagri, Badagri and imposed on the Keja. All of that would have been there. That was the mischief we're talking about. Would have gone past there. Mm. So, and then these card carrying members know their party, they know their aspirant relatively, or at least through the um, processes of debate and all of that, they'll get to decide and, and, and say, okay, this is the aspirant we're going to vote for. So everybody, a lot more people are saying direct primaries because that would treat the present mischief, then whatever mischief that is inherent, which would be the disadvantage, so to say, with the direct primaries, uh, then we'll deal with that. How, 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 I wish it's, it's fact, easier. I wish it's easier than you said. Okay. It's just a simple comment. You know, yes, I understand the mischief, or the underlining mischief. Mm. But do we need electoral act amendment in this nation to correct these issues? If the electoral act, as it is presently constituted, has option, it is left for the political parties to decide which to choose. So the issue of um, advocating for direct or indirect primaries can be done within the party members. Which, which, which means, the, which means, the, which means, which means, the hands and control of godfathers. Which, which, and those which who are means, the which, 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 So in, in other words, you're saying that if a party wants Nigerians to trust them, then they should. Uh, uh, bring out a, 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 a mood of choosing this candidate that will be acceptable to the majority of Nigerians. It's up to the political party. The point I'm making is just clear. Okay. That political parties, just as I, uh, the, um, the, the, uh, the subsequent amendment has included both in direct and indirect, mm -hmm. and even by consensus. Mm -hmm. So the political parties should be able to deal with that. Even in 2019 election, some, other, some states adopted direct primaries other states adopted indirect primaries. So it shouldn't be a, a, a concern of the Nigerians, okay. however they choose to go about the, 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 the issue is this. I, I tend to, to buy the idea of direct primary. Because although Nigeria as it is, well, just like I said earlier on, the, the, both direct and indirect direct primaries, they are subject to manipulation. But to some access, uh, to some certain extent, there will be an evolution. Mm -hmm. The way it is now, in the next four years, maybe the orientation and thinking of Nigeria will be different. That's another point, you know, as to because um, even in the third republic, whereby because option A four, this issue of indirect, you know, direct primary was was just like the same thing as this option A four of that time, if I'm correct whereby we have people queuing behind of candidates for, for elections and things like that. We also saw what happened in Lagos in the case of uh, Agbar Debi and, and, and Sarumi, them, whereby the, the, the party hierarchy said they want uh, Agbar Debi, the, the younger guys, um, the younger dudes among the SDP of that time, they want Agbar Debi. At the end of the day, both parties lost, a dollar won. So the power on that level, you know, 
going back to the people. Look, even look at 2016 in the in, in United States of America. Mm -hmm. You saw what happened when Bernie Sanders and um, Clinton, but Obama wanted uh, Clinton. He went ahead to, to indirectly impose Clinton. Clinton. To the or, Democrats. To the Democrats. Mm -hmm. We also saw what happened at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. That Trump trounced him on that. Mm -hmm. So, in that, you know, that is primary, though now, the argument may be like, oh, we, are, we may not be right for that because that's it, but it is a stage. Mm -hmm. A time is coming. Uh, yes. Un un unfortunately, yes. that, that, that's, that's, where, that's where I would say mm -hmm. Nigeria, where we practice a, a leadership style where there is no continuity. That is where the argument against evolution, because we don't seem to have evolved. It's like our democracy get worse and worse by day. But either way, let's let, let look at some of the reasons why the, the president refused to uh, uh, sign it in the first place. Uh, 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 that it will stifle smaller political parties. Now, I when I was you know we, we treated this, I was like, okay, some of these political parties have not come out to complain that it will. Uh, uh, stifle the election but of course you know one or two other parties have come out so uh, uh, what, what do you think about that do you think it will really stifle smaller political parties if they all uh, direct uh, uh, apply indirect or direct primaries rather from, from my own point of view it's taking nothing away from them even the, the small political parties their own um, direct primary election is even easier, easier. to conduct mm. because the issue of population like APC it's not, there. Them, it's it's not, not there. there. You get me where I'm coming from. Okay. So the issue of um, one NCP or one AAC is even among themselves, they know they're handed already. That is the truth. Among those smaller parties, or somebody who can just come and finance the party from there, they know this is the person we want to follow. Mm -hmm. Many of the times. So, so it is more complicated well, for the bigger parties the bigger like, parties, APC, and like PDP. APC and PDP. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, you talk about the uh, lead to the, the cost of monitoring exercise. Uh, so, yeah. INEC. Uh, yes, I, I pointed that. Okay. I made that point clear. Now, but, but they, they, they had the time because the, the problem is the monitoring from INEC, right? Yes. Uh, they, they, they have enough time because uh, uh, while these arguments, you know, started this, you know, uh, uh, electoral amendment being including uh, uh, electronic voting. Now, the, the discussion there was, that, okay, you have two years, you have three years to well, foresee some of these issues and know how to no, you know, direct you know, them. The, like the issue of monitoring, this was yes. a time for them to have employed. I mean, we're talking about unemployment in Nigeria. You should have employed more people to INEC no, to help you, in monitoring. Sorry for interjecting. Okay. Mind you, if you are adopting a direct primary, primaries, INEC will not determine the date for those primaries. Mm. So the, the political party is that, does. Yes, so if all the political parties at once decides to conduct primaries. Mm. The INEC will be obligated to mm. monitor those ele elections. The INEC, so, INEC should employ more personnel. That, that, that's that's the we point. We are talking about cutting the cost of governance. All this is going to the uh, economy of this country. And we know the economic situation in the country. Mm. So part of ways to cut, uh, because the, the budgetary allocation for the INEC, they will have to spend money monitoring political parties' elections. Mm. At the end of the day, issues are bound to come up mm. and there will be challenges INEC will be accused of compromise so INEC should in the real sense of it be independent mm. should not interfere with the conduct of primary elections or political parties whatever they decide whichever candidate they throw up there will be um, uh, there will be a general election mm. so beyond the, the overwhelming nature of having INEC conduct I mean monitor these elections mm. the economic implications mm. is also at stake. Okay, do, do you agree? No, I may already monitor primary of parties in Nigeria, mm. even as this amendment has not been done. Mm. Even I with the direct or indirect? I, yes, I think already yeah, But they will be obligated. I know, I know, I know monitors, okay? And, and so it, it goes without saying that if we were to allow it, yes, by legislation, for the good, what is the essence of legislation? What is democracy? It's government of the people, for the people and by the people. So democracy in Nigeria cannot be likened holistically with democracy in the U.S. or in Canada or somewhere else. Mm. Because it's not million, a one-way thing. Each million has its peculiarities. Yeah. So democracy is what we agree, but it should be agreement by the people. Mm. So for us as Nigerians, we are saying we prefer direct primaries because we know our peculiarities. We know what our problems are. And if we, uh, if the, the National Assembly 
where to leave it as the most majority of Nigerians are saying that it should be direct primaries, it goes without saying. I don't always say especially on this exclusion of charity, especially on one excludes the other. All right? If we say that parties, of course, um, have to be, uh, the elections, the primaries have to be monitored by INEC, which has been happening already, as I say, it goes without saying that all parties, because they would have, if you're fixing your primaries, it's in consultation with INEC. Okay. And so INEC will not give approval for all parties to have their primaries the same day. And what costs are we talking about? We're talking about good governance and for the, pros, the progress of the country, development of the country. Mm. We're, there's stagnation, there's insecurity, there's bad governance. Because of that, the mischief I'm talking about, we want to move away from there. Mm. Good governance is what can assure this. So if spending, look at, there's, there's corruption. How much is stolen on a daily basis in this country? And you hear one individual was stealing billions and trillions. How much would it cost us to spend for INEC to monitor elections for us to have good governance? And thereby reducing cost it of is, governance. If okay. You reduce corruption, it's a okay. Bad governance, and then of course gradually we improve. Okay. I, I know you want to talk about that, but there is. Let me just 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 let me 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 let as being within the scope of the law. Mm. The law is binding on the next government. If I, if what if the next government decides to change it? Yeah, that, would be, that would be difficult. If, if this thing is, if this, this thing can even creep into the constitution, yes, apart from no, be, okay, let's incorporate into the constitution. Mm. Every government, the constitution is the ground number, you know. Every, every government, you know, when you come, you have to construct the national assembly, you go through the all this system. But most importantly, if the that is That is if that particular yes, national assembly is not yes, robust stamp. <laughs> so that's all. So let, let, let's go to we, the we, other. We, we get there. Let, let's go to the other excuse. The, yes. the president reason rather the yes. president gave that it will overstretch the police. I I, I think that uh, that's. Slapping. I think that's that the my that was. The, 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 the issue is this: whether the argument of whether or not um, logistics, um, police, and all of them, all these things are excuses. Seriously, they are excuses. Uh, as far as the um, manpower is concerned, we all have due respect to all of them. In ministries and agencies, we have uh, um, workers who are many of them even uh, for a very long time sitting down in a place for a while, no job to do. Mm -hmm. There are so many people out there looking for jobs. Employ people, employ people to the police. You know, let people join the uh, 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 civil defense. All of them, they are all of them are all security ap ap apparatuses in which the government can ever be bring together. Most, most. Um, uh, party primaries come up on the same day. Hmm. So it can be stages. Do you agree with that? Will, will you overstretch the police? The police is already overstretched. As it is, uh, uh, true. You know, the point is that you always have an argument to support a position. Hmm. I do not think the issue of overstretching police should actually be one of the reasons for refusing assent. Hmm. Because we know that in 2020, <laughs> during the NSTARS group, we know the number of policemen that were in Lagos, every election in each state, you know the number of so, yeah, exactly. so I, I don't want I, I will not concede that mm -hmm. it is a reason for yeah. refusal of the So he president also talk about violating democratic norm, which I which as I think it is he's correct about that, but that's where the peculiarity comes in. Really? You think it's correct? I mean everybody have said that in a normal situation, direct primary should not be imposed on political parties. But that is where the, peculiar, the democratic peculiarities exactly. come in. Exactly. No, no two democracies in is the, the world same. are the same. True. That is the point I want to make. We, are mm. not, we shouldn't be buying you know, American system, vote hook, line, and sinker. We must look at our we, own we, environment. We can't even our buy it even if we try. is a big factor. <laughs> so if we are saying that we must have to get the best primary elections, it mm. does not really and truly translate to best leaders. Mm. So in political parties, they are their members. They know the capacity and caliber of people they want. And most importantly, they want to win election. Mm. So if for whatever reason they decide to impose someone that will lose, it is their loss. So mm. you know we have to 
put into consideration the peculiarities of Nigeria mm. and the situation we find ourselves. Mm. So if you go to direct primaries, issues will come. Indirect issues will come. Mm. So it is like facing two devils. So we have to choose which one is better for us. Mm. And it also would finally uh, uh, give rise to vote buying, which I think it's, I think that's the main laughable about one. About usurping of the democratic process. Mm. Were members of the opposition party not in the floor of the house, when the, when the National Assembly passed that bill, mm. what is the position of the opposition party, opposition parties? Even, just like I mentioned earlier. But, but there are few in, in, in this instance. I mean, the, the, the ruling party is more, which is the mm. advantage uh, uh, the president or the executive at this where, mm. you know, have in this instance. And the A's always have it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 